Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you um, mileage correction. So in one of my other videos I uh, replaced this old Speedo with, an, with another one in a Citroen AX which uh, this particular one the needle kept sticking either around 40 mile per hour or just kept jumping up and down so some kind of issue with the Speedo. But um, since then I've corrected the mileage on the placement speedo and that's working absolutely fine but I thought with the old speedo dial I thought I'd go in a bit more detail of uh, how I actually corrected the mileage so as you can see here it says 081334 what I did under here we've got this part here this little um, spindle with little cogs on it you kind of have to pop it off just here and here. Now these little grey parts will fall off the uh, spindle. I don't know the technology, the te technical terms of what it's called, but um, yeah, they will all fall off. So it's ideal to keep them upright if you can. So what I use for some little uh, pliers. They are almost at the right angle, but I don't think it really matters. Um, and then just pop, there we go, there's one, you see it pops off, no. and then you, to be honest you can probably just take it out just like that, there we go, that's that part, keep that safe. Then you've got your numbers. Now, obviously you should only do this if you have a genuine reason to do mileage correction on a car. So, for my uh, reason was I got a replacement clock and it had the incorrect mileage on it. I think it said something like 59,000 and this car done 81,000. So I had to roll the miles up on the replacement clock. Um, so to change the mileage, we have to uh, spin these numbers around here. Now, what you have to do is do the first one, get to the number you want, do the next one, and so forth. In fact, if you see more this way, uh, sometimes you have to hold them, just spin them. So, if we look on here, let's have a look then. Let's pick a number. Let's say we want 123,456. So, for this case, we have to spin these numbers around. So, I'll show you more so on the dial. Spin that first one around. Let's get it to one. There we go. The next one, hold that first one. Move that. Second number, so let's get that to two. Right, one, two. Next one to three. There we go. Four's already there. Let's get this one to five. And let's get that last one to six. Now, I find the hardest part is to put the uh, spindle bit back without the numbers uh, flicking over. <clears throat> so, uh, grab this again. See, they're already moving. I literally put this back in place. Make sure you put it the right way around it came out. So, it just pops there there give it a little bit of force so we'll do it from this angle and hopefully we can just pop it back in make sure they all line up and then job done okay change my tactic to uh try and film it from this end i'll make it a little bit easier to see now then 
hopefully we can just click these in place. Get the persuasion. That's it. Unfortunately, the models may have just ruined them. There you see, this is the problem. You kind of get this issue where they will just flick around a little bit. Luckily, I think we can just about adjust it before we can fully click it in place. Spin them around. There we go. That last side in. There we go. Now, let's see, this what is the problem you might find. Which happened to me, the miles of just some of the numbers are just clicked around half a turn. So it's a case of a bit of a trial and error and uh, try to get them lined up again and uh, try try again. Take it off again and then. Let's try to get them. Correct. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try again. I think it does help to get these little. Make sure these cogs are lined up correctly as well, otherwise they end up spinning and clicking the number over. Right, That's better. So as you can see, I uh, sort of messed up at the first time, but the second time, the mileage is uh, correct to our scenario. So if you do muck up the first time, just pop this bit off again, click numbers round, give a bit of force, perhaps use some little Long nice pliers or something like a screwdriver or something to pop the spindle back on again and uh, yeah just fill it back to your clocks and you adjusted your mileage so yeah this is for a, this one's come out of Citroen AX but I assume similar vehicles of have these old style manual clocks are fairly similar in the process of uh, changing the mileage so uh, yeah, so if you need a genuine reason to correct your mileage, I uh, hope this video helps you. Alright then, cheers guys.